Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create smart collections in your eCatalog panel. For example, if you go to the eCatalog panel, you should have these two smart collections by default, one called Models by Type and the other called Models by Manufacturer. Now, a smart collection allows you to write a search or query and use filters to find items from sources and collections in your eCatalog panel. You can also group those items that you find. For example, if I expand Models by Type, it finds items groups them first by type and then by manufacturer. And if we go to your models by manufacturer, it finds items, groups them by manufacturer, and then groups them by type. Let's create our own smart collection. So in the collections pane, I'll click the edit sources and add collections button here, and then click add smart collection. So this displays the editor for creating the smart collection. Let's give it a name of example, or let's actually just find everything from the visual components manufacturer. We can now add our first filter, so I'm going to say collection is all models, so this is going to use all items that are linked to my eCatalog panel. I'll add a new filter and say and manufacturer is visual components, so just find it from this list, and these items are coming from the metadata of components and other items. So I'll say visual components, but we also have this option here called visual components, uh, so let's use visual components add another filter, and we're not going to continue this, we're going to say or manufacturer is, and we can just type in here, visual components, and that O and Y, and we can now group those items, and let's use this field here, let's first group them by type, and we can add another level here, let's say, uh, I think this is fine. We don't need to group them by source or any other things, so let's take this away and delete it. So we're finding all the items from all of our models from this manufacturer and grouping them by type. So if I now click Save, the Smart Collection will be added to the eCatalog panel, and you can see it listed here in the Collections pane. And if I expand it, you can see it has all those items in their group by type. Now if you want to edit a Smart Collection after you create it, just double click it here and notice you can access the editor again. So we can change this up. Instead of grouping by type, let's group by source. Click Save. And now you can see we're now grouping the items by what source they're coming from. So we have one from Legacy Library, one from the Public Models, and one from my own personal My Models folder. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.